My name is Ian McKenzie Thurley. I'm the executive director of the Fitton Center for Creative Arts. Uh, and with our partners, the Hamilton Community Foundation and the City of Hamilton, we welcome you today to this wonderful celebration of a brand new mural for Street Spark for the summer of 2019. You can clap now. Thank you. Uh, this is our fourth year of the murals and it just gets more exciting every, every year. Uh, it's at this point I would like to thank our partners at the Fitton Center for the Hamilton Community Foundation, the City of Hamilton, uh, to ArtsWave and the Ohio Arts Council for their continued support to allow us to be here in the community and making fantastic community art. Uh, for us, uh, Street Spark was very much centered in the downtown in its infancy and as it's grown over the last four years, we've always had a focus of coming further and wider into the community. Uh, as you have seen, uh, through a lot of planning and development, the city and the foundation have been making plans to move out further into Lindenwald, into Second Ward, and further into the greater Hamilton communities. And I'm extremely proud uh, of the Fitton Center and of the community and of our partners uh, that we're leading with art, that the city and the foundation and our community partners are saying, uh, we will plant a flag in these communities and saying we'll lead that with art, incredible street art, incredible uh, community art with these murals that we're having placed throughout Hamilton uh, to say to the community that uh, we're here and we're here to, to here to be strong together and develop uh, a big uh, a big focus for us is community development is community art uh, and there's a great work great focus to do this here with our murals uh, the Fitton Center itself has a great commitment to Booker T. Washington and a wonderful partnership with Booker T. Washington and indeed the YMCA now for many years. So this was an absolute labor of love for us to be here today. Uh, many people to thank indeed, of course, our artists, our muralists, uh, our friends here at Booker T. Washington to look after us as these things come together. But it is warm, so I shall move on a little. Uh, I do want to thank uh, Jen Akers-Smith, who is the program manager for Street Spark. She's the one, yes. She is the one doing budgets and counting tins of paint and measuring things out and booking scaffolding and looking after our fantastic artists all the way through the process as we have through our call to artists, working with our fantastic mural selection committee and again then as we select our muralists and mural artists then to come from a concept to fruition. Uh, with that, I'd like to hand over to our program director, Jen Aker-Smith. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, everybody, for being here today. Really appreciate it on this warm day. Um, you know, when I first met with the leaders here at Booker T. Washington, um, it was down to two designs. And I think what it came down to for them was what message do they want to send to the youth of this community, um, you know, the future of the community. And when I look at this mural, I see how it reflects that hope for our youth, what they need to grow in this world. You know, we could focus on all the challenges. There certainly are a lot of them now and always are, but this, this mural chooses to focus on the positive. Um, it, you know, it chooses to focus on the potential for greatness in these kids and in us. Because after all, we were all kids once, right? Dreaming about the future. And I think this really speaks to that. Um, so I wanna thank the folks at Booker T. Washington, not only for letting us paint a mural on their wall, but for really backing up this message every day in what they do inside the doors. So we really appreciate your partnership and we, we loved working with you on that. Thank you. And I have a number of other groups to thank. There's so many people that work behind the scenes to make these murals a reality. Um, we've got our design selection team, as Ian mentioned. Um, if anybody's out there from the design selection committee, just do a little wave. Um, these are, there are 19 people on the committee this year. Um, we've got arts professionals, we've got mural artists, we have art appreciators, our program partners and business owners are on that committee. And what they do is they score those designs that come in from the artists and they ultimately select these final designs. So we're really proud of the choices that they made. Um, and then I've got a Street Spark think tank. These guys help to choose the buildings every year um, that we paint on. So if you are interested in applying for a building for a possible mural, um, we do have an online application. If you go to the Fitton Center website, there's a Street Spark tab and you can apply to have your building painted. And we look at those in the fall. 
Um, I'd like to thank the City of Hamilton and Hamilton Community Foundation. They're our major partners, and we absolutely could not do it without them. Um, I'm just so grateful that we live in a city that really, really understands the impact of the arts. They understand that if you put artists in the driver's seat, if you allow them to use their skills and their creativity, this is what happens. So I am just so grateful to live here. Um, and thank you again to the leaders and staff at BTW, um, Sammy, Shamana, and Ebony were all wonderful voices in this process. Um, the staff, you know, welcomed the artists every single day to come in and use their facility, use their um, the studio space to work out of. And also, we're in the third summer of working with Hanson Scaffolding. And as you know, every building is really different, and they have to really customize each build, and they get it done. So thank you to them. And thank you to all these guys that, that really made this happen. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce um, our mural designer and lead artist, Jamie Schorsch. Um, I've known Jamie for many years. Back in the day, I hired her to um, teach classes at the Fitton Center, actually. And she still teaches classes there today, um, art and wine. If you want to learn from her, get some skills, you can check that out at the Fitton. Um, last summer, she actually, just down the way, worked on the mural at the Miami Hamilton campus um, that faces River Road. And um, she teaches at Oak Hills High School. So it's appropriate that she made this mural because she works with youth every day and that's, that's what she does so well. Um, but basically her list of accomplishments is too long to read. I will just say she is one of the most hardest, hardest working artists that I know. Um, thanks to your dedication to the art and to youth. And I would like to invite my supporting artists, Zania Hasty and Kara Heckmuller to come on up with me as well mostly so I don't feel as awkward standing here all by myself, but also to recognize their work on the mural with me. So as Jen said, um, I've been in education for 15 years now um, in various ways, um, and I've worked with the Fitton Center for how many of those years did we say? Like seven years? Seven years? About seven years now? Seven of those 15 years? So um, it's nice to get to work um, outside of the classroom on projects as well. It's a totally different dynamic than teaching inside the classroom. And when I saw that there was a call for a mural design for a community center, that really caught my attention. Um, community is a, a big part of what we really try to build in education and inspiring children to um, achieve their dreams and really set high goals for themselves is something that um, I hold um, very important in my job. So um, when I came to creating a design for the mural, I really wanted it to be focused on the kids, focused on communicating a message to them in regards to what they could achieve in their future if they put their minds to whatever they, they wanted to, um, while somehow still honoring the past um, people that have helped contribute to the development of this center. There's a lot of rich history that's tied to the center that I wanted to honor as well in the design. I was also very fortunate with this design to have two future art educators work alongside me. So it was fun to kind of guide them through their first process of creating a mural on the scale, because it is challenging. It's a lot different than when you're teaching somebody how to paint, you know, a 16 by 20 canvas in a classroom versus a, you know, 16 by 20 feet wall or I can't remember what the dimensions are. I'm not good at math, I, I teach art, so that's, that's somebody else's job usually. Um, so it was really nice to work alongside them with that. They um, both brought um, great talent to the mural. Um, they really helped with the layout, getting everything blocked in as far as the, the drawing went while I was in the back mixing paint, because mixing paint on that level is kind of um, intimidating as they found, because we, we did that and you're afraid you're gonna mix a, a big batch of wrong color. Um, so they worked hard um, every day to help get this mural created. And it was also a little um, extra special for me because Kara is one of my former students. So this was the first mural that she got to work on and I got to work with her alongside that. And it just serendipitously happened. I got a, a text saying that she got to work for Street Spark. I was like, oh, so am I. And then we ended up on the same mural. So I would like to thank both of them for all of their hard work. All of the Booker T. Washington Community Center people, um, you are great the entire time we were here. You were always so welcoming. It was great to work outside every day when it wasn't raining and get to communicate with the kids. Uh, the kids were always very excited and 
always wanted to come up and, and help us paint. So that's part of one of the things that I was hoping would be the outcome too, is that it would inspire the children to create more artwork as well, which I hear is something that happened. So that makes me super happy. And of course, um, Street Spark and the Fitton Center for continuing to create these murals throughout Hamilton, because I have a, a strong belief in, in public art and it really does enrich everybody's lives. And it's an important thing that everybody needs to experience in their communities. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to um, have a couple folks from the Booker T. Washington Center come up and talk a little bit um, about their experience with the mural. And so I'd like to introduce the executive director of the center, Sammy Broyles. Come on up. Well, this process was definitely um, not my strong suit because I'm not art artistically inclined. Uh, and I was really thankful that we had Jen's leadership on this whole project because it made the process so much smoother. She allowed us to have a voice and give a lot of feedback to make sure that we stayed true to the roots of the community center as a kid growing up here. I knew many of the things that were special to me, and I knew that it would be special to the kids coming here every day and what they would like to see. And seeing this right here um, inspires kids. We have a lot of great silhouettes of service leaders, council members, educators. And as you see through it, you see music notes and, and, and uh, skeptoscopes uh, around the neck for the doctors. And uh, that gives kids vision. And I think a child has to believe what, and, and I have to see it to believe it. So for, for them to have the hope to do more and achieve more than um, what typically we get to see every day, they have to come here and be filled up with education. And I like to thank God for putting us in the presence of the vision of the city right now with what everything's going on, allowing us to be uh, here for this season. And I'd just like to uh, say thank you to all of our partners in the Fitton Center for making this happen. And I would also like to welcome up Ebony Tipton, our program director. Thank you. I'm not that small. Yes, you are. I mean, I have heels on. Jeez, you see how he does me? This, is, this isn't okay. Payback is going to be something in. The Bible talks about without a vision that the people will perish. And it is important. A lot of our children in this community, they're visual learners. And I remember the day that Sammy brought me in on the final vote for this, do you remember? And no one told me the two pictures that they were going up against. And immediately when I saw this one, I didn't really care to see what the other one was. I just said that one immediately. And everybody in the room asked me why. And I just remember it spoke so loud to the work that has already been done here and the work that we're diligently doing every day to continue to grow. I thought that Representation is really important in all of our communities. So it was important to me and important to the entire community that our children would walk down the streets or they would drive and they would see people that looked like them. And then when you look inside the bubbles, there are things that they know that they can attain so that our children know that there is nothing outside of their reach that with everybody here, and you all that know me, y'all know, I will quote the scripture, one plants and one waters, and we let God give the increase. So this is just another example of how we're planting and watering Watering, and that God is going to be the one to give the increase. It is my prayer that one of the children that is in here, that they see themselves through myself, through Sammy, through our board members, and even these, these two children on this building that one day will come back and visit and we'll see them running this building. That's really the goal here. So now it is my pleasure to bring some of my babies up here to tell you what this mural means to them and BTW. Come on, babies. Hi, my name is Ariel. Um, this mural is very special to me because I know I can achieve anything. I always dreamed about being a cosmetologist. I'd like to do my friend's hair and that like really helped me build more confidence in braiding and doing hair. So like this really spe spoke out to me 
and really wanted me to do better in doing hair. Thank you. Hi, my name is Simone, and I wanted to say that this mural is also very important to me because as my dream of becoming an animator when I'm grown, it has told me the four things that are important to the center are family, community, community, education, and respect. And I think that's very important because that's what you need to achieve what you want in life. So I just wanted to thank the center for helping me spread my horizons in art. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, a big part uh, of what I hear about uh, in uh, modern arts parlance is called creative placemaking. We hear it a lot, but at the end of the day, it's about community building. Hold on one second. There we go. All right, we're there. Uh, it's about community building. Uh, and here in Hamilton, we're uniquely placed. We see it all the time. We see it on the streets. We see it in our community centers. We see it uh, in our city hall, in our parks and our art centers of people working together. Um, and it's the thing that is really the rock solid of what Hamilton is built on. Um, I do a lot of interviews and talk to a lot of people about what's going on here, and it comes back to one word, and that's community. Uh, and we are very, very fortunate to have these partnerships. As I said, the Fitton Center is a long-standing partnership with BTW, uh, which is at the center of all we do, and with our partnership with the uh, Boys and Girls Club as well, both here and at their centers. And we're exceedingly fortunate uh, with that. Uh, and as Jen said, uh, here in Hamilton, we're exceedingly fortunate that's understood throughout the broader community and ooh, with our community partners. So uh, with that, I would like to invite our partners for the Street Spark mural program for the city of Hamilton and the Hamilton Community Foundation, Mr. John Goodulli, the president of the Hamilton Community Foundation, and our city manager, Mr. Smith. Ooh, there he is. Uh, thank you, Mr. Joshua Smith, to come up and just to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here to celebrate success. That's what I see here today is success. I mean, I look around, first of all, at the, at the community center here, and I look at success. We've, we've been partnering with the BTW Community Center for, center for a number of years, with the City of Hamilton, with the Fitton Center, Boys and Girls Club, the Y, everybody coming together to create success for people in the community. That's what we're here to do. And then, let's add on to that element a little bit of, of really cool artwork that gives us some more success, right here on the front of the place. I mean, if it wasn't enough that, that if you stopped and went in the building, you could see success, now you can see it when you drive by or when you walk by. I think that's a really big statement for the community, and, I, and I'm pleased that we're able to be part of it. And again, you've heard it over and over again, but it's about partnerships, and it's about collaboration. And everybody here today knows about that because we've been able to be successful because we work together. So we're really pleased and proud to be part of this. Uh, we hope that this endures for years, and again, continues to encourage folks like we just heard from a few minutes ago. So thanks for being here. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night.